Improving education in Iowa is a top priority for any governor. It's seen as the cornerstone of a vibrant economy and strong workforce. Today, the Iowa Department of Education released its annual report filled with facts and figures to show the status of our schools, including those in the corridor. Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill live with that story. Matt. Scott and Tiffany, this is it. It is the condition of education report for the state of Iowa. In it, what a lot of parents and grandparents of students at schools like this would expect to see, and some things maybe not. We asked parents outside Wright Elementary to read the highlights. No surprise, 89% of Iowa students graduate, or that 20% are now minorities. But it's a pretty decent number of eligible students for a reduced lunch. The 41 percent of students now eligible for free or reduced price lunches caught everyone's eye. The way the economy is, it's, I'm, not, I'm surprised it's not higher. I mean, the cost of living is going up and the wages aren't. But by far, the topic that grabbed the most attention in the education report is the person at the front of the classroom. Everything depends on the teachers. Parents surprised from the age of teachers to what they're paid. 42 years old is the average age of an Iowa public school teacher? Yep. Really? Did you think it would be younger? Kind of. Grandmother Barbara Brolick says the average salary of $50,914 really stands out. I didn't realize they, you know, I thought they made more than this, honestly. For teacher salary? Yeah. And Carrie Stastny says everyone needs to know. I think they are underpaid for all the work that they're doing. There is severe crowding in our school into our classrooms, and it's affecting the students. So I think, you know, their 50000 that they're getting is not enough. One other highlight, the report says it now costs $9,435 a year to educate each student. That's up 10 bucks from last year. Covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids, Matt Hamilton.